Hello guys, welcome to Hacking with NSK. In this video, we are going to see about SQL injection. So what is SQL injection? So SQL means Structure Query Language. So it is a language, programming language used to talk with the database. So by using this SQL, so we created a payload. Like we see previous, like JavaScript payload, we are using SQL, SQL injection as SQL payload. So we send a malicious payload from server from server database to victim computer or victim computer to server database so this will happen because the web server or victim computer is not protected by any filter sql filter means this bug will work on on the website so let's see this is the example for sql injection so this is an attacker consider this an attacker so it is a web api server so this is the consider this is a facebook server and this is a facebook database so i'm sending a request student.com i'm sending an sql injection code I, I want to know 117 student the id is 117 the student id is 117 or 1 equal to 1 i'm sending this code to web server web server process this select start from student so this is the main point select start from is the main point so it will select 117 from students in the database and return the data the server will return to the attacker so this will happen if the server doesn't have an sql filter sql injection filter so it is oswap's top 10 bug list sql injection okay where can i get the payload so first we see in practical using dwa so now I am in DVWA web page, Diamond Vulnerable Web Application. So I'm scrolling down here. See, there is a two SQL injection, bind SQL injection and normal SQL injection. So first we are going to see normal SQL injection. So before that, I'm going to DVWA security and select to low level. So I'm selecting on SQL injection. Okay. Now the user ID. So I'm typing here one. So press submit. See one the user ID one is first name is admin, second surname is admin. When I type two, see two. When I type three, so it's see three. So when I type four, it's showing me four. So I want to inject SQL injection here. Okay. Now I'm injecting a payload here. So I type one comma and iPhone one iPhone equal to iPhone 2. So I am not using iPhone before and after 2 because it will be defaultly used by web server. So one iPhone means I want first user ID and I want one user ID 1 equal to equal to 2. So one equal to 2 is not true, it's a false. So when I submit it, it will not give any result. But when I type one when I type 1 equal to 1 means when I press submit, see, it gives the result. So instead of this 1, I want all the 100. So if instead of this 1, I'm typing here 100 equal to 100. I press C. See guys. So, so it will show only one things. So the same command 1. So I'm just saying instead of 1. I am saying or here I am doing I want 100 and if I press submit see first 100 names will be listed here so I can see all the student names using this or this payload SQL payload injection so this is a low level SQL injection so next we are going to increase a level medium so I press submit so going to SQL injection. So see, all of is set So here there is no text box just to select one press submit means it will show. And two and three. See, that's it. So I can't type anything here. So we are using bug shoot to bypass this. So I'm going to on this bug shoot. I'm going to bug shoot community edition. So so I'm going to on this, I'm putting it sign here. So I'm selected number one. 
when I press submit, so it captured something. So when I press this, see this uh, ID number one. So we are going to inject a payload here. So what I'm going to inject is one or one equal to one. So if we give this, it will not be loaded. So it will be end with slash because if you guys see the database will end with this slash. So we need to say okay, side screen, okay. End with here with the hash. So when I press forward, see the SQL injection is successfully executed and all the details I will I captured. So all these things. So it will be ended with slash. Or otherwise, I just press this one. So it captured one. I'm trying different payload now. What is one order by one hash? So when I give forward, see one order by one ID. So these are the types of payloads that we can use for SQL injections. So again, we have another one. You guys can type one order by three slash. So when I press forward, so it's the unknown column three as cost. So because we are typing uh, SQL injection, we need to know how to write a perfect code. So now I'm typing on ORT or order by press three. I'm using slash here. When I press forward, see unknown column three in order cost. So this way, this works. Okay, I hope you guys understand what is it. So, so next we are going to see a high level. So I'm just take off this intercept. So going this, changing into high level SQL. So press submit. So when I click SQL injection, see, click to change your ID. When I intercept it, when I click here, so there's a new tab open here. You guys see if you if you're going to website and click uh, Google sign in, so it, a new tab will be open. So like that, it will be captured by WebShoot. So what I'm going is nothing changing here, just go forward. So this is the open in a new tab. So when I click one here and press submit, so it captured it. So I'm taking this intercept. So see guys, it will be displayed here. When I type two here, so it will be displayed type two here. So when I close this. So again, I'm turning on this intercept. I am clicking here. So nothing opened here. So I'm just going to forward it. Okay. When I type here, one, and press submit, so it captured here. So here I can say one or one equal to one, 20 slash. So when I press forward, See next and going forward. So it the command executed. So ID one one. So all are executed correctly. Okay. So next again I'm using same thing, but here I can use one slash. So I'm using this code. So I'm taking out this, taking this apostrophe, and here I finally ended with hash. When I sub click submit here, see. So when I forward it. So it will be showing the admin name one. So because why it is not shown is I'm use a handy here. So it will be shown only one. So in case of if I use the or means so forward forward see all the things will be listed here. So all okay guys. So impossible way users very much hard code to protect this SQL injection. So if you guys find using this hard impossible security means, so I'm just taking this intercept. When I press imp impossible level means, see, it came to normal, first low level, but we cannot use low level injection here, payload here. Actually, you guys see SQL injection blind. So it is also same as SQL injection, but it is a force to do it. Without any problem, it will blindly inject the payload in the server, in database. So that's why it is called as blind. So if you guys find this blind payload in any website, that is very severe SQL injection. 
because it is type 0 and this is type 1. So it doesn't have any filter means it's called as blind. If had filter, but you can bypass this. This is a normal SQL injection. Also, I am full screen it. So I'm now I'm turning off this workshop. Okay. So I'm opening a new window. So I'm going to type here S Q L I N G C injection. Hello. When I press enter, see there's a GitHub. So when I click here, see this is the intruder. Intruder code is here. When I scroll down, so there's a detailed version how SQL works, SQL map, so all the things we are going to see next next videos. So yeah, I'm going to intruder. So SQL blind payloads. So clicking on it, my SQL. So when I press this. See, these are all the SQL payloads. See, so I'm next. I'm going to this. So this is all uh, called as my SQL MS SQL payload. This is all MS SQL payloads. What we want to do is just go to click on draw. So it will open in a raw file. Just control press A, control press C. So open workshop. So I am closing it go to intruder and payloads just press it that's it all the payload loaded here just going to website if i want to so i'm closing this so opening a mozilla firefox so sql injection now what i'm going to do is going to proxy intercept and i type one here and submit so i did it on okay so I mean it will be captured here. So it is an impossible one. So I'm going to reduce the security. So I'm going to turn off this. I'm reduce the security to medium. So I'm going to SQL injection. Now I am turning on this workshop. Okay, once again I'm clicking submit here. So it captured. So now what I'm going to do is I click send to intruder. So Opening into that, see position. So I'm clearing all the positions. So I want this position. I'm going to add this and I'm going to payload. So paste all the payload. Copy to some GitHub. So now what I'm going to do is just stop the attack. See it working. So all the payload will be testing here. When I click here and right click, so show response in browser. I'm going to copy this and paste in here new tab. See, if you guys got any error, means that the website is working good, but if shows any detail, so you have an error in your SQL syntax, so that works. The payload works good, but instead of this, if you access to the database and shows about the database or anything, so it has a severe SQL injection. Don't worry, in future videos, we're going to see in your live website. So it will be testing all, all the things. So this is a community version. So it's testing very in, in low speed. If this is a pro version, it will be finished in just uh, 30 seconds or 20 seconds. You guys can see the request and response. So action, in a current browser. Okay. So this is uh, called SQL injection. So I'm going to close it. So I'm going to take off this intercept. I hope guys, you guys can understand what is it. So you guys can try this blind SQL. So it is an easy one. So we are going to see new bugs in next videos. So we are going to see a live SQL injection web page in future videos. So in description, you guys can download the SQL injection payload in Google Drive. So I give a link in this description. Thanks for watching, guys.